Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is records. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video you've seen, please go back and watch the introduction. You can check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover. In my executive series of videos, we have a standard agenda which consists of four topics. You can see those topics in the progress bar below. Make sure you stay around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement today, records, comes directly from 820.180 and ISO 1345 section 4.2.5. Records in five words. Maintain records showing 820 compliance. You must maintain records showing that you are in compliance with 820 and 1345. To do that, you have to have a procedure that covers the identification, storage, retrieval, integrity, retention times, and disposition of records. If you utilize electronic storage systems for your records, so you have electronic records, those systems must be validated and backed up. You must define a record retention schedule that meets all the applicable regulatory requirements for the markets around the world that you sell into. Records must be protected against deterioration or loss. You must be able to retrieve all records upon request. If your quality system has patient identifiable information, you have to meet all applicable regulatory requirements for that data. And finally, we have some exemptions. During a routine inspection, the FDA does not have the authority to review management review, quality audit, or supplier audit records. Note, if it is a directed inspection, they can look at all of those records. So how do I know this is working? First, I have a procedure that manages how I control my records. Second, I prevent my records from deterioration and loss. Third, any record that's requested by an auditor or someone within my organization I can produce that record within 24 hours. If I can't get the record within 24 hours, I need to let the individual know why and when they can expect to have that record. And then finally, I have record retention schedules defined for all of my documents. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, I've lost records. They've deteriorated, they're damaged, they're just not available. Second, if I have electronic records, the system that they reside in is not validated and they're not backed up. And then finally, Record retention schedules are out of date with the regulatory requirements. Now for those three bonus questions. What is the document number for our record retention schedule? What is the most restrictive region that we sell products to around the globe? Second, which region requires the longest record retention time? And then finally, do we utilize electronic records? If yes, are those systems validated? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.